The Lady Longhorns getting ready for a big league matchup with Leland Wednesday afternoon. We jump to the second inning where Brittany Pangborn hustles home after the pass ball, 1-0. Lee Longhorns, same inning when Kayla Pisano plays unselfish ball as she hits it to the right side for the fielder's choice, scoring Brooke McLean, 2-0 Lee after two. The Chargers get on the board in the third. Stephanie Spindler bloops this ball to right. Angela Handel with a strong throw home, but Jesse Frediani slips under the tag to make it a 2-1 game. Then in the fourth, Leland's Vanessa Chalkin goes right back up the middle with this pitch. Rihanna Renoro and Lisa Fujihara score to put the Chargers in front, 3-2. Lee flashing some D in the sixth. First baseman Becca Hogan laying out for the catch, and she fires to second for the double play, and that was a huge play in a close game. Bottom of the seventh now, two outs, tying run on third, winning run at second. And Elise Itell with the first pitch she sees taking it deep to left center field. It's off the wall. Pisano and Shelby Ford score on the walk-off double. It's pandemonium at Lee as the Longhorns win it 4-3 to three in the bottom of the seventh inning to stay in first place in the Mount Hamilton division. Itell with the game-winning two-run double for the Longhorns. Notre Dame Belmont getting all ready to take on presentation Friday afternoon. First inning and Kelly McDonald gets all of this one over the scoreboard and gone in a hurry. Maya Monchak scores in front of Kelly McDonald, whose two-run homer gives the Tigers a 2-0 lead. Meantime, it was a perfect day for Emma Holden as she records one of her 13 strikeouts in the game right here, and they like to do this little patty cake deal to celebrate. In the third, ND Belmont threatening. Monchak flies to shallow center. A fine catch by Brianna Fuji, who collides with center fielder Serena Aragonis, but everybody's okay. Bottom of the fourth, some outstanding defense for the Tigers. McDonald to her left, snagging the grounder and fires to first and another patty cake. 2-0 in the seventh and Holden finishes the deal. It's a perfect game for Holden. You know what happens next. 13 strikeouts with not a single Panther reaching base. A perfect game. Of the week. You go to the big house, you gotta make a big play and SI's Joey Murphy does just that with an outstanding backhand grab. Becca Hogan from Lee makes a nice catch, but it's a little bit shorter of a pop-up with the slide and a double play. Great play, Becca. This is Brianna Fuji going way out into center field, colliding with the center fielder, but still holding on. But the play of the week goes to Lee's Tyler Christian with the bare hand grab on the hopper and a great throw to first. One more time, it's a great play by Tyler Christian for the play of the week. What? Oh my God, Tyler, what the heck? You're lame. It's a great play by Tyler Christian for the play of the week.